Let's talk about the delay and the delay until actions in Power Automate. Here's what the two nodes look like inside Power Automate. The delay until node expects a timestamp, which is expected to be shown as an ISO standard format. You could type an ISO standard format out as the example shows, or you could add dynamic content and bring in information such as date fields from SharePoint as dynamic content. The delay action gives you slightly more control, giving you a unit of measurement of time, such as month, week, day, hour, minute, or second, and then specifying the amount of that unit you would like to delay by. For example, I've put in 20 minutes, and this is gonna allow me to have more control over delays over a short period of time. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight into the delay nodes inside Power Automate and how you can use them. Follow Cloud365 for more tips.